Thank you for watching, and remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. I mean, at this point, things are shutting down. Broadway closed tonight. All shows closed. canceled. Yeah. We welcome you into our live coverage of Winter Storm Juno. I'm Alex Wilson. And I'm Dave Schwartz. Winter Storm Juno looks to be a storm for the history books, with the potential to paralyze an entire region, bury neighborhoods, and cripple travel for days and make kids just so happy. Yes. We want to give you a look at what we're expecting. Again, this is for now. This can always change. As you know, with these systems, uh, it evolves. Our, our impacts go up, or our uh, forecast totals go up or go down depending on how the storm is evolving. Right now, we've got snow around parts of Massachusetts and Rhode Island, also Connecticut. Look at this band of some very heavy snow moving about 15 miles per hour. So this is going to be around Barnstable at three, uh, 639, Sandwich just after 715, New Bedford by 730. And that's going to bring some heavy bursts of snow. Look at the timing as we get into later this evening, really around 9, 10 o'clock. Providence, you're in that dark, dark blue, and that would indicate the heaviest and the steadiest of the snow. You'll also have the winds as well. So blizzard conditions into the overnight, even tomorrow into the early afternoon. You're going to keep that heavy snow still tomorrow, a late day by six, seven o'clock. You'll see the snow changing over to snow showers by the time we get into the early morning hours of your Wednesday. But look, Wednesday, 6 a.m., those snow showers finally moving out of the Providence area. So this is a long duration storm and totals 20 inches. What we're expecting around Providence, 20 inches for West Warwick, 18 inches in Harrisville, two feet in Taunton. So we're talking big, big totals. And when we look at Winter Storm Juno for Rhode Island, these are some of the cities. We've got Providence, your peak timing, 9 p.m. to 6 p.m. tomorrow, up to two feet. Blizzard conditions everywhere. Winds in Providence, 30 to 35 miles an hour, 30 to 40 miles an hour for Newport, where we could see a foot and a half to two feet of snow. Really, that's what we're expecting for most of the cities, with the exception of Westerly, a foot to a foot and a half possible there. Dave, bigly worded email to the Boston Herald just for you, Keith. How could Thank they leave you. you out? You got boots with fur. Thank you so much, Keith. We'll check back in with you. Got to talk about Boston, where the snow is coming down now, but you're not in the thick of it just yet. Sustained winds on the order of 10 to 20 miles an hour for most spots. Gloucester now at 22 mile per hour winds. You've got blizzard conditions coming tonight with power outages possible. And guess what? Tomorrow offers up more of the same for Boston. Blizzard conditions, power outages likely. Coastal flooding also going to be an issue for those spots especially the north and east facing beach locations. Snow and blowing snow tomorrow night with power outages still possible. Here's what we're looking at through Wednesday. Snowfall totals over two feet in Plymouth. 15 to 20 inches out on the Cape. 22 inches in Boston. 22 for Gloucester. We'll be back with New York's details next. What's happening there? You notice some heavy bursts of snow that are beginning to move uh, off of Martha's Vineyard. We've seen a quick few inches, two to three inches from this, and this is going to be working into parts of Rhode Island and Massachusetts shortly. And as we track Juno's snow, when we get to the 10 o'clock hour, notice that's when that dark blue begins to show up over the area. That dark blue would be indicative of the very heavy and steady snow, and it sticks around until early to mid afternoon tomorrow. Now, by six o'clock, still have snow. Snow falling, snow showers late Wednesday into third, or rather late Tuesday into Wednesday morning. Finally begins to quiet down around 6 a.m. on Wednesday. But this is a long duration storm for the Providence area. Again, forecasting about 20 inches, 20 inches for West Warwick, 24 inches in Taunton. So a foot and a half.
to two feet. And when we look at Rhode Island, Providence, Pawtucket, Warwick, New, uh, Newport, and Westerly, all expecting blizzard conditions. Winds around 35, even up to 40 miles an hour, with most spots looking at a foot and a half to two feet. Dave's out of here. We got to talk Connecticut next.